Good evening, everyone. My name is Lauren, and my project is Longing for a Home, exploring classic urban melodies through saxophone. I spent this trimester practicing and creating a lecture recital based on three transcribed urban pieces that are traditional Chinese folk tunes, a process which deepened my knowledge of Chinese folk music and also my personal connection with my culture. I will emulate the sound of the earth on saxophone by bending notes and using inflection, creating a nuanced string-like quality, quality to my sound. Bridging the past and the present, I will create a new perspective on Chinese folk music. I would like to extend my gratitude to those who have guided and supported me with my project, many of whom will be performing with me today. Ms. Roberts Crawford will accompany me on piano, Mr. Krasin on flute, Mr. Halligan on cello, and Mr. Leibowitz on percussion. I will start by introducing the air hoop, a traditional Chinese two-stringed instrument with no fretboard. It is somewhat similar to the violin, but instead of a separate bow, the bow is attached in between the strings. The sound is projected from the sandbox. One side of it is covered in snake skin, and the other side is redwood. The Urfu originated in the Tang Dynasty around the 9th century, and until the 1920s has been more common in southern China. Urfu music is usually written with a pentatonic scale, and the Urfu sound is unique for its song-like quality. Here is a short sample of what an Urfu sounds like. This is a Sichuan folk song that describes the arrival of spring. It has a lively and warm melody meant to evoke feelings of nostalgia. Mongolian folk song, The Red Banner. The 
song describes the horse racing event in the traditional Mongolian Madan festival. The fast pace and urgency of this piece is not typical of urban music. The urban mimics the sounds of horses neighing and galloping and is performed with a jubilant and celebratory tone. during the Tang Dynasty. The song is based on one of China's four great folk tales, the tragic love story of Xiang Shanbo and Zhu Tai. Zhu disguises herself as a boy to receive an education where she meets Liang. The two fall in love and plan to get married. Unfortunately, Zhu's parents had already arranged for her to be married to another man. Upon hearing this, Liang became very ill and passed away. When Ju went to visit Liang's grave, the earth opened up and swallowed her. They both morphed into butterflies and spent an eternity together. This piece uses a minor pentatonic scale and is performed with an expressive and mournful tone. Though it is a melancholic piece, there is an underlying message of hope.
enjoyed my rendition of Urdu pieces on saxophone. Thank you, Ms. Roberts Crawford, Mr. Krasen, Mr. Halligan, and Mr. Leibowitz for taking the time to rehearse and perform with me. Thank you.